Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4769 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So let's take a look. Our mission in 20 moves is just to collect two dragons. Here's one, and here's the other. And we've got, oh, we've got two different collection spots. This one presumably will be collected here, and this one collected here. But we have to get through this frosting first, I think, in order for these portals to work. That's my assumption, unless I find out otherwise. And I see I've got stripes to help me with dispensers, but I've got toffee in the way. So I think I see this as fairly straightforward. Not necessarily easy, but easy to understand what I'm supposed to do. I need to get to the edges, use these, set these off, clear this out. I mean, sure, I could make a stripe that heads upward and downward and, and helps in a different way. But that's probably not going to be how the majority of these things are cleared. Okay, so I've got to this side almost already. Here I'm using a stripe in that fashion I mentioned, trying to clear this out. Now, oh, let's see, I'm going to go for this stripe because it can be helpful. I could take it out, but I'm going to do this. If I can clear out any of these, I don't have to focus on the top. And here's the reason. These all fall down. They're affected by gravity. And so if I can just get one of them done, then we get that whole opportunity to see this come through. I could do this and make a wrap and set off a stripe. That's not a bad idea. I think I'm going to do this instead and try to clear this out. Okay, so now I've got things going. I can make a stripe here. I can do this. I want to set these off. I'm going to go with a stripe because this, or a wrapped because a wrapped is volatile and it can create good things for us. So now we're starting to see these things flow. Took a while to get to this point, but we're starting to see it. I'm going to try to bring more of the stripes down. Now I don't have a stripe here. And I can't reach purple. And I only have three moves. I don't like this. I'm going to do this to align the purple. Well, that one took off, but that's okay because it, it worked, right? We got it to go. I'm going to take out purple now because I have to get more stripes coming from this side. So I didn't quite make it this time around. But like I said, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's easy, but at least I understand easily what I need to do. So what I'm going to do is pause, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off, but when I uh, finish this, when I am successful, I'll come back through and narrate. And I don't think it's going to take long. I'm going to really slow down my individual moves so I can explode these sides because I noticed that these dispensers aren't very generous. So they don't come down one after the other. We have to wait a turn. That means we need twice as many turns to get this to work. I'll see you in just a bit. <clears throat> okay, so here's the winning one. I'm going to try to get to each of the sides as quickly as possible instead of working on just one side instead of the other. Now I've got a color bump. I could use the green, and I don't really have any better moves. Let's do that. And now I can open up the right hand side with that purple. So I need to focus on the left hand side. And I'll explain to you later why it's important to try to get both sides open equally. Unfortunately, that's not happening. The right side is definitely opening up more quickly. So I'm going to try to use that right side to get to the left side. There we go. So now if I could get an orange, I would do that. I can't quite... I can do maybe this, but now, oh shoot, now that blue would turn into uh, wrapped instead of a stripe, and I need that. So I'm going to do this, and then here I can take out that orange, and I can start the, the top row. I need to hit that top row, because look at how... Um, how lopsided it, it was and now I've got it evened out. Now I can take out green because now I want to hit that. Um, I could take out orange and that would help but maybe I could try to get this done. There I can use the orange that's there. Clear that out. Now everything is fairly equal. If I do a blue that's going to go horizontally. That's vertical. That will help a little horizontal. That's just not the right answer. 
it's, it's not the right answer to use blue. I'm going to make another color bomb. And now if I just take out blue, instead of making the stripe, there, that's cleared. And now I've just got that orange in the way. Um, I, sh I can just take out green and that'll hit that orange and that'll clear out. So let me explain a little bit about this board. Um, what happens, the problem is that the thickest frosting is on opposite sides of the board. And so even making like stripes and striped wrapped through the center, it gets out those weakest ones, but it doesn't hit that those thickest ones nearly enough. And so uh, I need to have things uniform, as uniform as possible. I need to open up from the center off to the sides because when I would focus just on one side, I would get maybe the bottom cleared, but then the top was still super thick with frosting and vice versa. So, so be really aware of that. And then also it is a, a pain that the dispensers aren't very generous. So you have to try to balance back and forth between, all right, this dispenser is ready to give a stripe. And now this dispenser is ready to give a stripe and you have to balance back and forth. It took me a long time. It took between 15 and 20 tries. I did not expect it to take that long, but it's a tricky one. And when I said it's easy to understand, the basic concept is easy to understand, but it took me a bit to notice that the thickness of the frosting was really holding me up. So I want to share that with you and hope that that helps you to get this done more quickly than I did. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.